guys, got a new camera. Um, as you know, I've been looking for something to replace the Hero 7 black because I hated it. Um, and I tried this one first. This is the Sony ARC Zero. I like Sony. I like the big sensor, so I tried it. It is just not practical as a GoPro. It's a okay digital camera, but it sucks as a video camera. No stabilization and whatnot. Um, screen's too tiny. This is the DJI Osmo Action. Uh, dual screen, very much GoPro knockoff, same go frame as a GoPro, same menus. Um, you double tap the screen with two fingers to enter front screen mode, which is hilarious. Um, not really useful for me, but funny. And most importantly, this has terrible battery life from recording. This has excellent battery life from recording. This is almost 25% better than the Hero 7 Black. Um, also, when you're playing back videos with this thing, which you swipe right to do, it has a speaker, um, so you can listen to your video. Can't really do that in the Hero 7 very well. Um, and it just, it's got really good stabilization. I was playing with it, shaking the camera around. You can even see it in the video. Um, it's called Rocksteady. It seems to be better than GoPro. It can do HDR video recording. Um, it's got quick shot modes like the GoPro. It has actually has an extra button. So this functions as your shutter or your quick shot button. There's your power and there's your quick settings button. So if your hands are dirty or whatever, you just hit quick settings. And that easily lets you scroll through video, HDR video, motion, time lapse, photo. That's a really nice feature. Um, also, it's got a real big touch screen, so you can see the difference there. Uh, my Hero 7, if it wasn't uh, broken, I can show you, but it's, um, it's bigger than the Hero 7 significantly, and it feels really solid and everything. Um, the battery is really cool. It doesn't have a battery door. The door is part of the battery. There's a battery with a seal that snaps in there. Really like that. One less thing to go wrong. And then, oh, there's no SD card in there. SD card and charge port are right next to each other under this little door. So this is one of my complaints about the camera. This is a GoPro style door and it's even harder to open than the GoPro. But in there you got your SD card and USB-C, which is great. USB-C is amazing. Um, this does not have USB-C. Trash. Um, uh, it has the Hero 7 door, which kind of sucks. And it also kind of sucks as I like to shoot in uh, 1440 by 1080. It's like a tall 1080, which works good for motorcycles. So you want to get the handlebars and the scenery and you can crop it later or whatever. That kind of sucks. Um, front screen will eat a battery if you have it on, but it doesn't really turn itself on ever. So not real worried about it. It says this right here is for cooling. I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, it uses all the GoPro mounts, which is really awesome. And the menus are great. I mean, they are pretty much the same as GoPro. Really easy to navigate, really easy to access all your settings, like voice control. Yeah, it's got a bunch of different things you can do with voice control. There's a command list right there. Um, but this camera did not have great reviews, and I thought I'd try it anyways because I'm really trying to get away from GoPro because I think they have a monopoly on these cameras and they've got a little bit complacent. The Hero 7, just I had a ton of issues with it being glitchy, um, bad recording times, just poor battery life. Um, ton of issues with the Hero 7. The doors leaking, breaking, etc. Um, so I want to try something different. So I got that. Was very unhappy with the RX Zero. So now I got this, and hopefully it'll be better. There's like a little comparison for you. Um, as far as unboxing, everyone seems to be obsessed with that for some stupid reason. The whole thing comes in a little box like this. Inside the other box, there's other little boxes. I don't know why people care about unboxing so much. There's the mounts it comes with. They're definitely GoPro knockoff mounts. Um, they're a little different looking, but. You know, that's a GoPro mount. It's compatible with GoPro mounts. There's the frame for the camera, which is totally a Hero 7 knockoff frame. It actually works with a Hero 7 head strap, so that's how you know it's a knockoff. Um, but I'm glad all my accessories work. It does come with a USB-C cable. Um, as far as instructions go, there's a really good quick, uh, quick instruction guide online. Gives you everything you need to know. Um, pretty tunable, you know, just like the Hero 7 with the Pro Mode or Pro Tune. Um, but... It's light years ahead of the Sony, and I think it might be the Hero 7's only real competition. I wasn't really tracking it. Um, I have a DJI drone and stuff, um, and someone recommended this on my RX Zero video, so I bought it. And uh, pretty good so far. Definitely feels really solid. We'll see how it handles all the mudding abuse, and uh, hopefully I'll post some footage, footage with it this weekend, some ATV stuff. But yep, gives a little quick review for you.